IoT Marine Instructional Video. This video explains the IoT Marine features and runs you through a step-by-step -step guide to get your system working. Purchasing the device. In order to get your hands on the IoT Marine device, you need to head to the IoT Solutions website and navigate to the Marine product. From here, you can easily purchase the product via PayPal or Visa. Basic Package The IoT Basic Package will get you started with a fully functional system. This includes the IoT Marine Hub, internal batteries, float switch to monitor water ingress, and one year free access to the online marine platform. The online platform allows email alerts and SMS notifications. With the basic package, you will be able to monitor in real time the following features. The primary and secondary battery banks, which can be either 12 or 24 volts. Temperature, from the sensor situated inside the hub. Your boat's location, water ingress, through SMS and email notifications. In addition to this alert, multiple alert thresholds can be customized. You can set your battery level and temperature thresholds. And you can choose to receive SMS and emails when these thresholds are exceeded. The hub also takes wired sensors which have a normally open output, such as PIR, door, gas, smoke or AC relay. These sensors are not included in the basic package, although can be easily purchased through our online marine website. To complete your purchase, add the basic package to the cart and proceed by entering your details via PayPal or via secured Visa. Upon confirmation of payment, you will receive an email to confirm your order. Basic Wireless Package This package includes a transceiver, a remote and a wireless sensor of your choice and are pre-configured to your hub with the Basic IoT Marine Package. The transceiver attaches to your hub to allow communication between the hub and the wireless sensors. The transceiver is a simple plug-in device. The remote is used to arm and disarm your system for theft protection and also pair new wireless sensors. The basic wireless package allows you to choose between a smoke detector, a PIR or a door sensor. You may decide to add extra wireless devices to expand your system from the selection shown on our website. If you buy the wireless package and devices together with the basic IoT Marine Pack, all the devices come prepared to your hub and the only thing you need to do is install them on your boat. If you decide to buy the wireless pack and wireless devices at a later stage, you need to follow some simple steps to pair the devices to the hub, which is explained later in this video and in the quick step guide. The wireless sensors will also alert you via SMS or email if a fire or intrusion was detected and when the device has a low battery level. You may decide to include a siren which can be wired to your IoT marine hub. This will sound an alarm on your boat in case of any alert. Follow the same process to purchase the device. Package Contents Once you receive your basic IoT Marine Bundle, you will find an IoT Marine Hub, an antenna, three AAA rechargeable batteries, a float switch and a float switch bracket. You may proceed to assemble the float switch by attaching the float switch sensor to the bracket and tightening the nut. Next, you can screw the antenna to your hub. Make sure you do not over tighten. The batteries are not required at this point and will be used during the installation on the boat. Setup of online dashboard. Move on to setting up your online dashboard by going to the link found on our website where you purchased your product. 
Create an account if you have not already done so. It is important to use your personal email, which will be used as your login name and set a suitable and secure password. Following your account creation, you can proceed to logging in with your details. On login, the dashboard will request your hub code. This code is a PAC code which can be found on your hub. Copy your PAC code into the pop-up window and press the Let's Link Your Product button. Now you can see your dashboard. All the information about your device is gathered here. However, since the device is still inactive, the dashboard will only show the data gathered during testing of the device or initial pairing if you have ordered the wireless bundle. From the general settings, you can add multiple IoT Marine Hubs to your account if you have more than one boat which you wish to secure. To change your hub settings, go to your device menu and press edit. From here, you can set up your boat's name, your email if you want email notifications, your phone number including your country code if you would like SMS notifications, your custom battery thresholds for your primary and secondary battery bags, and your maximum temperature thresholds. If these thresholds are kept empty, by default, the thresholds assumed by the system are 12 volts and 14.5 volts for the primary and secondary battery bags, and 80 degrees Celsius for the temperature sensor inside the hub. Once you have set up your account, you may proceed to install and hook up your system on your boat. Set up the device. Normally, the device is installed in the engine room at the rear of the boat and the wired float switch is connected underneath it. Some users also decide to connect our smoke and heat wired sensor in this area to monitor any abnormal behavior in the engine room. If you decide to install it somewhere else, you might want to place it in an area where you intend to place the bulk of the wired sensors and the siren to minimize the amount of wiring and passing of cables inside the boat. The hub can be fixed using cable ties, screws, bolts or even high quality double sided tape. The sensors can be fixed in places similar using screws or 3M tape which are provided with the sensors. Once you have fixed all your devices to the boat, make sure to switch off your battery bank prior to starting any wiring. Open the device and connect the 12 or 24 volt positive terminal to either of the first two input connectors in the hub, to your primary battery bank with an inline fuse which can be purchased from our website. Next, connect the battery negative terminal to the third or fourth terminal inside the hub. You may also want to connect the second battery bank to be monitored by the hub by connecting the battery bank positive terminal to the respective pin in the hub and connecting the negative terminal to the same negative connections. Connect wired sensors. All wired sensors must have a normally open interface to be able to communicate with the IoT marine system. The sensor shorts its two terminals whenever it is triggered to alert the hub. One of the normally open wires needs to be connected to the respective pin on the hub connector, whilst the other wire is to be connected to the negative terminal on the hub connector. It is not excluded that certain wired devices may also require an external power from the boat's batteries depending on the sensor. The float switch does not require external power, but only has two contacts. Install the float switch to the place where you intend to monitor water level such as a bilge pump area and attach it 
to a reasonable level. The float switch sensor may also be installed using screws and tie wraps. To install it with screws, disassemble the float switch and assemble it again following screwing of the bracket. Make sure that the float switch is installed with its wires facing up. Connect one of its terminals to the float switch connectors on the hub and another to the negative of the hub. Another example of a wired sensor you might use is to monitor the AC shore power supply. This can be done by using a normally open AC input relay. Power the AC relay by the shore power AC power such that it opens its terminals as the AC power is disconnected and shorts its terminals as the AC power is supplied. Connect its normally open low voltage terminals between the AC hub connector and the negative connector to the hub. To connect the siren, connect its positive terminal to the battery's positive voltage terminal. Make sure it is 12 volts for the supplied siren and its negative terminal to the siren terminal in the hub. If you want to connect the siren to a 24 volt battery system, choose the 24 volt siren and collect similarly. Switch on. Connect the rechargeable 1.5 volt AAA batteries, which come with the basic pack. Make sure that these batteries are not replaced by non-rechargeable ones and are inserted into the device with the right polarity since it may cause danger. First thing you must notice is a beep which indicates that the hub is switched on. Upon calibration another two beeps are heard and after another three beeps indicate that the hub has initialized properly and is in a proper working state. Now you can also switch on the supply to the boat. No setup with the network is needed. If you configured your email and phone correctly, you should receive an email and SMS indicating that the system recalibration has occurred. Refresh your online dashboard and you will notice the first status update received is system recalibration, which indicates that the system has restarted its process and calibrated itself. To test the system, you can try and lift the float switch until you hear the hub beeping. Similarly, a notification should be received which indicates that the float switch has been triggered. Unless any alarm occurs, the online dashboard will update with a new reading every hour with all the parameters. The hub lid can now be closed if everything has been installed and configured. Wireless package. If the hub was bought together with the wireless package, the system is sent configured and ready to go and all the pairing of the wireless sensors can be skipped. If your wireless device came prepared to your hub, arm your system and trigger the sensors. You can test the smoke sensor and alarm by pressing its button. If these were bought separately, you will have to follow the pairing guide which will only take a few seconds. First step is to open the hub. Turn off the hub power by removing the batteries as well as the battery banks. Attach the wireless transceiver and reconnect its batteries and battery banks and then proceed to pairing the devices. Pair the remote. It is very important that the first item to pair in your system is the remote. Pair the remote by first pressing the button on the hub. Then press the button on the remote until you hear a beep. Refresh your online dashboard to see any status updates. The dashboard should indicate that a device has been paired. You can momentarily press the bell button again on the remote to check that the remote has been paired correctly. 
If it is paired correctly, the hub responds with two beeps. The remote can now be used to arm the system. The door and PIR sensors are ignored when the device is disarmed, but trigger an alert when the hub is armed if they are triggered. The smoke sensor always alerts the system when it is triggered. The lid can now be closed since all the other sensors can be paired using the remote itself. Pair sensors. The wireless sensors are all paired similarly. To pair them, the remote lightning button should be pressed until a beep is heard, which places the hub in a pairing mode. The pairing window only lasts 5 seconds. During this pairing window, trigger the wireless sensor by pressing its respective button. This is further explained for each sensor. You should pair one wireless sensor at a time. For each sensor, you should repeat the above process. During pairing mode, you can pair the following sensors as follows. Pair the smoke sensor. The smoke sensor is paired by pressing its button. Pair the door sensor. The door sensor is paired by separating its two pieces. Pair the PIR. The PIR is triggered by pressing its internal button. For each paired sensor, the status on the online dashboard should show that the device has been paired and it also indicates that the sensor paired was triggered. You will also receive an SMS and email if these were configured. Do not forget to disarm the system before entering your boat. Go to our website to secure your boat with IoT Marine.